Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. This video is a part of the Check MK monitoring series. Um, I hope you're all doing good and um, again, welcome to this video. So in this video, what I'm planning to show you is how you can um, switch between various OMD versions um, in your Check MK installation. So the advantage of using Check MK is that um, once you install Check MK, um, you can create multiple monitoring instances, multiple sites, and um, um, each site can be used with different OMD versions. So that's what we're going to see in this um, video. If I bring up my notes here, um, so um, what I'll be showing in this video is I'm going to use an Ubuntu 1804 um, virtual machine as the CheckMK server. I'm going to install uh, CheckMK version 1.4.0 I'm going to create a site. So once you create a site and once you install OMD um, for the first time, whatever version you install will be the default version. <coughs> and uh, whatever site you create will be created with the default version. And what you can do now is you can install um, a later version of OMD Check MK. In this example, if I install 1.5.0, uh, then that becomes the default. So whenever you create a site, the site will be created against this version. But the site you've already created with, will still be running without any issues. So that's the point. So you can have multiple instances, I mean, multiple sites running, um, all of them using different versions, absolutely no problem at all. Um, but if you want, you can migrate, um, for example, this site monitoring from older version to newer version um, and vice versa. So one thing to bear in mind is when you do OMD update, it's not always an update to a higher version. You can, you, you can think of it as a switch. So when you do OMD update, you can either switch to a higher version or to a lower version. So it's just a type of uh, switching the versions, not just upgrading. Okay, so once you install the newer version, that becomes the default one, and all the sites you create um, will be created with the uh, with the newer version. But there is an option to set um, which version you want to be uh, you want to have it as a default. So that's the command. The command is OMD set version. So if you've got multiple versions installed, like one three zero, one four zero, one five zero. Uh, and if you want to make 130 the default, you can use OMD set version to do that. And if you don't want to do that, but if you want to create a site using a specific version, you can pass the minus uppercase V and the version number um, to the create command. So the site will get created against the specified version. So that's what we're going to see in this video about upgrading instances and things. Okay, so CD to play directory and git clone my OMD monitoring repository. The link will be in the description. If you want to follow along, please do so. CD to OMD monitoring and then to Vagrant provisioning. Vagrant up Ubuntu VM01. Okay, so while it's doing that, I'm going to go to my web browser and I'm going to go to the CheckMK download page. Download, and I'm going to download the old stable version 1.4.0 for this demo. So I can show you um, how to install 1.5.0 later and migrate sites from the older version to the newer version. Okay, so 1.4.0. Um, I'm on Ubuntu 1804, so copy the download link and back in the terminal, it's ready and let's log into Ubuntu VM01. Okay, so first thing first, Vagrant SSH Ubuntu VM01. What we need to do now is to update our app cache repository. sudo app get update. And then sudo app get install gdb 
core. So we'll be using the GDBA tool to install CheckMK and if you want more details on it I've done a video on how to install CheckMK you can go back and watch that video. Okay so now if I do wget and paste the link that I copied and delete all these rubbish entries It's about um, 80 to 90 gig, 90 meg, sorry. Um, so once it's downloaded, we're going to use the GDB tool to install it. So this is version 1.4.0, as you can see here. Okay, so that's downloaded. sudo gdb checkmk. So press Y to confirm. It's going to take a while to install all the dependencies and everything. So this will be uh, a time-consuming task just for the first time uh, because it's pulling um, loads of dependencies. The next time when we download the uh, the 1.5.0 version, uh, it will be a lot quicker because all the packages, all the dependencies are already installed. All right, check MK is installed. Let's check the version, sudo omd version, sudo omd version. Okay, so we are on version 1.4.0p38.cre, which is CheckMK raw edition. So now OMD versions, and um, whichever is the default version, you will see the text default against it. So at the moment, we only got one version, 1.4.0, and that's the default. So let's create a site. Sudo OMD create site one. Okay, so that's created. I'm not going to log into that site. This is just for a demo purpose. sudo omd start site1. So that's started. If I do sudo omd sites, um, you can see site1 and it's running version 1.4.0 and that's the default version. Okay, so well and good. So we've got one site called site one running um, using version 1.4.0 so now now let's go ahead and update uh, the OMD when you when I say update OMD uh, the system is still gonna have uh, the OMD 1.4.0 and when I download 1.5.0 it's gonna install that in a separate um, directory structure so it's gonna keep all the versions that we installed unless we uh, specifically uninstall the uh, the older version Otherwise, it's going to keep all the versions installed. Okay, so now let's go to the web browser and go back to the downloads and check out 1.5.0 Ubuntu 1804. Copy the download link wget. I don't know why these texts are getting copied. Right, that's copied, and let's do sudo gdb checkmk 1.5.0, confirm, and this time it should be a lot quicker. We've got all the dependencies already installed. Unpacking checkmk raw, okay. Um, and we are done. So now if I do sudo omd version, um, the version is 1.5.0. That doesn't mean it has wiped 1.4.0. We still have those two versions. So if I do sudo omd versions, you can see 1.4.0 and 1.5.0. So since we installed a higher version, um, this version became the default and uh, sudo omd sites um, we've got site 1 and site 1 is um, still on the older version 1.4.0 so when you install it it won't automatically update to the new site you have to update uh, the individual site to whatever version you want okay so since um, 1.5.0 is the default one if I create a second site sudo omd create site2 
Um, and if I do sudo omd site, you can see site2 is created with the default version 1.5.0 because that's the default version. Um, site1 is still at 1.4.0. Okay, so now um, if I want to create another site, so as I told you here, where is it? So now 1.5.0 is the default, but if you want to create a new site, uh, but you want to create it using this version, then you can use the command omd minus v, or you can do omd set version. Let me first show you omd set version sudo omd versions 1.5.0 is the default one let's change that sudo omd set version 1.4.0 p38.cra okay now if i do sudo omd versions sorry versions you can see 1.4.0 p38 is the default one. So that's how you change the default versions. Let me change that back to 1.5.0 p11.cre omd versions. Okay, so now 1.5.0 is the default, but I want to create a site against 1.4.0 version. sudo omd minus uppercase v and the version 1.4.0 p38.cre create site 3 okay that's created sudo omd sites and you can see the site that we just created was against this version 1.4.0 so that's how we use omd set version and omd um, uppercase v to specify a specific version that you want to use right um, let's delete site 3 sudo omd rm site 3 yes that's gone sudo omd sites right um, let's try and upgrade update site 1 to version 1.5 so the command to do is sudo omd update site site 1 so we are trying to update the site 1 from version 1.4.0 to 1.5.0 so everything will be backed up no problem at all and you can um, switch switch the versions to 1.5.0 but for this to happen um, you need to stop the site first because the site is uh, running sudo omd status site 1 as you can see site 1 is um, running so we need to stop that site before we can update it sudo omd update site 1 and you will see it will show you an error please stop the site before updating it okay let's stop it um, if you're running this on a production environment the best idea is to do a backup so I've explained that in one of my previous videos how to backup and restore your CheckMK instances sudo omd stop site 1 that stopped and now sudo omd update site 1 and um, if you've got multiple versions at the moment we've only got 1.4.0 and 1.5.0 but if you've got loads of versions then it will um, give you a list here and you can choose which version you want to update to okay if I hit update cool that's done it has done all the work for us sudo omd sites and you can see site 1 has been updated to version 1.5.0 which is the default version um, the other thing we could do is sudo omd versions um, since we don't use this version anymore, um, you can uninstall this uh, completely. Um, <coughs> you can use app get remove um, or dpkg minus r uh, or minus p something purge um, to remove this one. But it's always a good idea to keep uh, your older versions running because if in some cases if you have some problems, um, we can always go back and uh, 
start using the older version. Let me show you an example. Um, site 2, or let's take the site 1 for example. So let's imagine that the site 1, since we updated it from 1.4.0 to 1.5.0, it had some issues and we want to go back to the older version and we want to revert it back. So what we would do is sudo omd update site 1. Um, in this case, we only have two versions, 1.4.0 and 1.5.0. So it's not going to give you a list. Update, update done. sudo omd site. Site 1 has been updated to 1.4.0. It doesn't make sense, right? So when you say it has been updated, it's not actually an update. It's just a switch. So no one will say, I've updated my site from version 1.5.0 to 1.4.0, which is the lower version. Um, this one worked okay, but <clears throat> it's not a 100% guarantee that you can downgrade from 1.5.0 to 1.4.0 or from any higher version to lower version. It might work, uh, but uh, imagine that they have introduced loads of uh, changes on the newer version, and once you change to the newer version, the internal files will have been changed during the update process. And if you roll back and go back to the older version, then you might have some problem inconsistency. So it's not a good practice to go to downgrade. So you can create a backup of your site. For example, site one, if you want to upgrade that to 1.5.0, um, you clone that site. You can use omd copy command uh, and clone that site and restore that site as a different name and then update that site, use that site for testing, and if everything works okay, then you can update the, uh, the actual site. Okay, so that's how you use the, um, the OMD update command. So the biggest advantage is CheckMK, you can have multiple sites running different versions, and you can update different versions. It's just a matter of stopping the site and doing an update. That's it. Cool. I think that's it for this video and thank you so much for your time watching this video. If you've got any questions or comments, please let me know. And uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That gives me more motivation. Um, thank you and I'll, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.